but they had a, a uh, an article in there on um, what do they call them? Ex- basically, extremely gifted kids, and how there's really no programs out there for the extremely gifted. There's like one school in the country that actually caters to them at like a grade school level, you know, and uh, and it's kind of been viewed that skipping grades and all that is bad for the kids socially and now they're realizing it's the complete opposites these kids get depressed because they go to school and everybody's so much dumber than they are you know and their quest for knowledge fills their heart the way you know (laughs) they were talking about this one kid by the time he was four years old he spoke like three different languages. He had gone through the entire periodic table and was really into rocks and minerals. So he goes out with all these regular moron kids who are going to basically end up working at a Buffalo Wild Wings someday. And they're out there throwing rocks and stuff. And this kid's trying to tell them about the crystals that are in the rocks and how they were formed. And everybody was like, you're a stupid liar. No, it isn't. they like throwing rocks at him. <laughs> I was just thinking, like, he can't, how he can't even fucking relate to anybody his own age, and they get depressed, and they don't want to be smart. And after a while, they just go comatose. And if they stay in the environment too long, they can't even hold down a menial job in life. It's fucking unreal. And the entire time I was reading the article, just fascinated and laughing my ass off at imagining this kid being that fucking smart. I mean, it's bad enough as a comedian to do a third show Saturday night in front of a bunch of goddamn drunks. You know? I mean, the gap in intelligence there, just for the simple fact that I'm sober, is unbelievably annoying, and it's full-on fucking torture for an hour. And this kid has to live it every day, six hours at school, and the gap between him and those kids. I mean, that fucking kid couldn't even have a conversation with me without getting bored. Just sitting there, this fucking kid was coming home, he's going, they're treating us like puppies. Christ, I could teach the fucking class. You know what's funny is this kid, his parents just, what they did was they just applied him, had him take the, he applied for college and he tested off the charts and they accepted him and then they said, oh, by the way, he's only like, he's like 11 now and they let him in and this is the funny thing. One of the schools he went to was Arapahoe Community College in Colorado and uh, I performed at that school. And if you guys listen to me tell, tell stories about some of the worst gigs I ever had, I always bring up Arapahoe Community College as a reference because I did a nooner at that school in an area where three, three hallways met. A nooner is basically you're doing the show at like 12 noon or 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's a fucking nightmare. All right? Kids have no ideas. There's a show. Most of the time the show is held in like the cafeteria, you know? I'll tell you, I really got to be honest with you, the level of fucking humiliation that you have to go through to even get to where the fuck I'm at. I mean, it is a goddamn gauntlet (laughs) of fucking, that's what it is. It's just one impossible, humiliating fucking scenario after another. And then every once in a while, there's like that, you know, like when Columbus saw a branch floating in the water so he knew he was getting to land. You'd have a couple of good shows. So anyways, I'm fucking standing there three in this area where three hallways meet. They start the show in between classes. It's me and like six kids sitting there. And one of the people is like the person who booked the fucking show. And I'm 20 minutes into my act, standing next to this popcorn machine, just bombing. Just bombing. And all of a sudden, this fucking bell goes off or whatever the fuck happened. And all the classes let out. And all, within two seconds, it was like a flash flood of like people. All of a sudden, all the ho- quarters were filled with people. And they're just walking by, looking at me with like this combination of like confusion and pity. And then they just started fucking heckling me. And all I could do was shit on the school for putting me in that situation. And I just remember the person booking the gig. Everything that I would say, she'd just be going, that's not true. That isn't true. This is a great school. And she was mad at me in the end. And I was so fucking furious at myself for taking the gig and at her going like, how did you think that this was going to fucking work? You know? 
Do you ever watch stand-up on television? First of all, is it done during the middle of the day? Is the person standing in a fucking hallway? You know? You know what? Fuck that goddamn creative genius. If he's so fucking smart, he could get into a better goddamn school than Arapahoe Community College. You know what? Fuck that issue. All right. Sorry. I just had a fucking anger flashback. All right. How to get, how to get the girl? Advice. Advice. Dear Bill, how's it going? I'm 21 years old. I work with this girl who I would really like to go out with. The girl is 29 years old with a five-year-old. What the fuck? Ugh. I'm 21 years old. I work with a girl who I would really like to go out with. You should just fuck her. I don't even need to read the rest of this. She's 29 and already has a five-year-old. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I mean? You're 21 years old. You're drafted in the first round, and you're immediately going to the fourth round with somebody. You know, she's got a five-year-old kid that's like drafted a fucking running back who already blew out his knee. What's wrong with you? Oh, he actually writes, I know, after it. Okay, so he knows. All right. Uh, He goes, I can't help it, though. We flirt all the time at work and seem to really connect. Everyone jokes that we are going out, and whenever confronted with the the possibility from someone, this chick, she says nothing and laughs, but in a good way. So about two weeks ago, I eventually got the balls up to ask her out to go do something. But I think I went about it the wrong way. I switched the conversation over to sex. <laughs> Your instincts are great, sir, but you're 21. So you're kind of fumbling through this. This is all right. He goes, I asked her a hypothetical question, which her response was something like, I would go over to your house and beat you up. To which I said, why do you have to beat me up? We could do other things. Jesus Christ, dude. What are you, butthead? We could do other things. <laughs> I'm sorry. Terrible impression. Uh, She goes, she got the gist and the conversation went on for that. Went on like that for another 10 minutes. Getting nowhere. Uh, So just simply flirting. About a week later with my confidence high, I asked her out. And she said something like, so uh, when are we going out? Oh, I said, so when are we going out? Sorry, guys. I'm fucking this whole thing up. Let's regroup here. So anyways, everything goes great. A fucking week later, I go up to her. I go, so what are we going out? She seems hesitant. And she says, I don't know. Where would we go? See, right now, you you already fucked up. This is how you fucked up. All right? All you want to do is fuck this girl. Okay? And rather than coming out and saying it, you danced around it. You know? You just got to come out and say it. You got to just tell them what your fucking intentions are. I'm not saying, listen, I want to fuck you. You don't. You know? You, you've, you've got yourself halfway into... You basically told her, hey, I'm going to take you out to a movie and make you feel like I really like you. Then I'm going to fucking bang you and never call you again. You basically said that to her. Um, so now she's sitting there. She's grilling you. Where are we going to go? And you were like, I don't know. We could go somewhere to eat. You could come over to my house. We could do anything you choose. See, this is the thing. You, you don't have any tact. You went from we could go out somewhere to eat. There should have been something else. There should have been something else. And then maybe you say your house. You don't go from something to eat, go over to my house. You know? You're basically, you're in leather face mode here. You just come and fly, you're opening a panel door, coming in and just fucking dragging her in the back. You can't be like that. All right, so anyway, why don't I just finish this fucking thing and get to his question? Uh, I could never get a straight answer. So for the past week when I see her, I say, so where do you want to go? She replies every time, I don't know. It's really bumming me out. Uh, Now she seems to be less friendly every time I see her. Yeah, dude, because you keep fucking tightening the noose around your neck. So is there something I could say to her that could get me a straight answer or anything I could possibly do to just know where I stand with this girl? I would admit I'm very inexperienced with girls and I don't know how to really go about this. Isn't that great? So you admit that after I sit there and fucking trash you. Well, if you're still listening, if I haven't beaten you down creatively here, uh, I think your move is is you just stop asking her. Just stop asking her. Continue to be really fucking friendly. And then, you know, wait for the Christmas party and try to bang her then. (laughs) I don't know. 
this is this is what I would tell you. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep putting it out there, and eventually, through trial and error, you're going to figure out what to do. All right. I don't know if you got the skills at this point to bring this one into the boat. I think it's already it's off the hook. It's gone. Uh, I think you kind of hurt her Felix. I think she I think she actually liked you, liked you. And she thought you felt the fucking same. Uh, basically because you flirted too long. And you got to know each other. So then, you know, because women are more developed emotionally when it comes to that. She actually went down more of a, a I think I have feelings for this guy. And right as she started giving into that, you know, she's 29, she's got a kid. Maybe you're going to be the knight in shining armor to get her out of that fucking single mother shit. You hit her with the, uh, you know, we could get a tray of macaroni and hang out in my bedroom. You know, right there. She's like, ugh, another guy just trying to bang me. That's how I ended up with the five-year-old. So you got to understand, dude, she's already, she's already done this, you know. Five years old, she was 24. She probably banged that Matthew McConaughey type character from Dazed and Confused. He fucking knocked her up and took her, took off. Completely fucked her life. So she's a little gun shy. But at the end of the day, she is a human being. And they do need uh, affection and that type of thing. And women are down for just fucking if you present it in the proper way, which you haven't. And I don't think in this one you, you can... Uh, what you got to do is, uh, yeah, I would s- don't, whatever you do, don't stop talking to her. Just be nice to her. Hey, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. Just don't fucking ask her out again and see if she makes a fucking move. If she makes a move. Oh, Jesus. This is like at this point, how far down the shithole you are. This is like trying to snip the right wire without having the thing, the device blow up in your face. Okay, so let's let's play this scenario. So then she comes to you and be like, hey, you know, I thought we were going to go out. You never asked me anymore. And you can be like, yeah, well, I don't know. I just kind of got a vibe like I kind of turned you off or whatever. You know, and th- that's what you do. Be like, you know, you were right. You were right. Look, you're in a different situation than me. I'm just 21. I was just looking to have some fun. And uh, I realized that, that, you know, I shouldn't have done that, blah, blah, blah. And maybe then she could be like, well, I could have some fun. And then maybe you could go that route, you know. I don't know. I think your best bet is to try to get her drunk at the Christmas party. (laughs) I don't fucking know. Why why would you listen to me? Um, Anyways, let's plow ahead here. 